This video introduces you to Word Clouds in Atlas TI 9 Mac. To open a Word Cloud, select Analysis and Word List slash Cloud from the main menu. You can also right-click on a document, quotation, code, or group anywhere in Atlas TI and select the Word List slash Word Cloud option from the context menu. You can create Word Clouds based on documents, quotations, codes, and groups. Let's select a document group. This group contains all respondents who evaluated the computer game Minecraft negatively. Once selected, you can see the word list. You can change the view between word list and word cloud. To make the word cloud more meaningful, you can set a stop list that excludes all words like is, are, the, and so on. Atlas TI includes four stop lists, but you can add as many stop lists as you want. Click on Manage Lists. Here you can review and modify existing lists. You can add new words, or temporarily deactivate or remove words from the list. You can also add a new list, or import an existing list from Excel. Click on the button Add Word to fill the list with content. Each list can be used as a stop or go list. When set as a stop list, all words in the list will be excluded. When set as a Go list, only the words in the list are counted and shown in the Word Cloud or Word List. Let's go back to our Word Cloud. After setting a stop list, let's now zoom in to show the more frequent words. Let's compare this now to the words of the respondents who evaluated the game positively. We zoom in again to the most frequent words. If you don't want to count words like Play and Playing twice, activate the option Show Inflected Forms. You get more detailed information for a word by hovering your mouse over it. If you right-click on a word, you have the option to move a word to the currently active stop list, or you can search for the word in the context of your data.